Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty and it has been a while. Um, I thought I would go ahead and just do a little ditty on my face um, since it's been such a long time and I don't have anything on my face and today is mostly going to be about chatting um, about my life and where I've been. Um, super nervous to do this because I just don't feel like anyone cares if I'm on YouTube or not. And okay, so do I have, okay, I did all my skincare much earlier this morning, um, but I did not put on my SPF. So let me go ahead and do that. Always wear SPF guys. I had somebody ask me the other day, um, uh, multiple people have talked to me about how TikTok you know, is pushing skincare, which is great, but there's like eight year olds, 12 year olds, 14 year olds wanting like this elaborate skincare routine. Let me tell you what you need. You need to wash your freaking face and you need to wear SPF. That is the number one like preventative for signs of aging anyway. Like we're gonna age no matter what. Okay, so I've been doing not much with my makeup. Like I'm doing the same routine every day. Um, I'm going to try and use this again. This is the Jones Road. I used it a couple times and I think I just used too much. I think for me with my super oily skin, because this is very moisturizing, um, I think I'm going to try it a couple more times with just like very little of it and then see what I think. I might just pass this on to my aunt. Becky, let me know if you want this or if you want at least some of this, I can send you probably half of this. This stuff is so expensive and super perfumey like I hate that's probably the number one thing I hate about it not the fact that it's oily because I bet people with dry skin or mature skin are loving this um, so it definitely has some separation to it because it's super oily again that's a good thing for a lot of skin types for me it's not the best so I'm gonna barely put any on I'm just gonna use whatever I use to stir it up I mean this is very little and then We'll go from there. God, why does it have to be so perfumey? It's not good for your skin. But please let me know if you guys use this and how you like it or don't like it. Pros and cons. Like, I just don't know if it's good for my skin type. I mean, it's a very subtle coverage. Like, I think for me, a more subtle coverage brand for my skin would actually be Glossier. The skin tint, I feel like the Jones Road is only a couple steps above this. And people complain about this not having coverage. So um, again, let me know what you're thinking. I might just pass this on because you can't return it now. Um, it's been too long. I think um, the last video I had posted was about six, seven months ago, which was right when I had started uh, or a little bit after when I had started my new career in real estate. And very, very busy, very busy because I was helping my mentor so I could learn. And so I was driving like 45 minutes away to her little home office, busting my booty, learning all the things. And I'm still in that mode, but just at a way lesser level of busyness of like driving everywhere. So I would say 75% of the time, 50 to 75% of the time, I'm working from home. I'm going into our um, agent office on Wednesdays. Um, and obviously, you know, like a real estate agent is gonna be driving everywhere. So lots of driving, lots of working from home. I'm loving it. However, a couple of things to talk about. Should I do some concealer? I mean, all we're doing is going to the gym and it's like late in the day. I might do a little concealer. Um, I don't want to talk too much about makeup actually. So this is the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. It was on sale at Walmart because they were redoing their setup. And I got two colors, super moisturizing. Again, this would be really, really good for more dry skin, more mature skin. Looks really nice under the eyes. But for me, I probably will not pick this up again because I have an issue with already having oily under eyes. And, um, my, my mascara running, which I have my own routine of what works, but as soon as I switched to this concealer, I started getting a little gooey under the eye, a little bit more mascara drippage, which I don't usually have with the mascara I use. So take that into consideration. It's probably medium coverage in my mind, a typical medium coverage, not like a 2017, 2018 medium coverage, if you know what I'm saying. And I just kind of mix these together 
And because this is not, this base is not super high coverage, I would, you know, go in and get some redness around my lips and nose, under my eyes, and then any other blemishes. And I've been going back and forth between using brushes, using sponge. Um, it is definitely different with a more oily, moisturizing base slash foundation slash whatever these are, concealer, etc. Um, still the best brush. I just switched over to the new one. My old one was getting a little out of control. Um, okay, so once all that busyness slowed down and the holidays came around, I was like, oh, this is the perfect time to like get some videos done because I was really slowing down. So typically in the real estate business, so I've been told, right, um, is things slow down around the holidays, which is a good thing, right? Because you need time to slow down because this business is all day, every day, basically. Um, there's so much flexibility in it. It's, it's insane. It's like the best thing ever, but also <laughs> you are answering phone calls and emails and obviously you have to set your boundaries with that. But as a newer agent, I'm really trying to say yes to as much as possible to get, um, not only make money, but just to learn, to learn the business. And the more you do, the more you learn, right? So I'm definitely doing a lot on weekends. I'm doing a lot in the evenings. And so, um, when the holidays came around, everyone's like, take this opportunity to really wind down and, and relax. Well, for me, I have this guilty feeling about relaxing. I do it now, but I still feel bad. Like I'm like, okay, well, Freddie's going to work and here I am busting my booty, doing nothing. You know, I'm doing stuff. I'm like looking for business I'm promoting. I'm, I'm doing behind the scenes stuff, but I'm like not out on the road. I'm not, you know, I don't have a ton of clientele around the holidays. So it ended up getting to me. Oh, I'm getting a huge zit where you can like feel underneath. Not normal for me, but wait for that baby to come out. Anyway, so I'm like, starting not to just get bored, but to start to get depressed. I was like, is this what this is gonna be like? For me, it wasn't even about the money. It was about the having relaxation time, having flexibility. I mean, I was freak, I legit got into a depression, which is part of the reason I stopped doing videos or having motivation to do them, is I didn't know what to do with myself, which is so weird because I had so much time on my hands and I wasn't utilizing it. Like I didn't wanna thrift. I didn't want to do any sort of bold lip. That tells you something. I didn't want to do any fun eyeshadow. I didn't want to, I didn't even really want to talk to my friends, but like, I also didn't want to sit on the couch. So I guess that's kind of what depression is <laughs> or situational depression. Um, anyway, I would constantly talk to my close friends and my cousin and my sisters. And finally my cousin was like, look, and this is how we talk to each other because we love each other. And I'm not going to say the cuss words here, but I will say that uh, we, we use some strong language. And she told me, she was like, Sarah, you've been working since you were 15, which is true. First job at Sonic. Kind of miss it sometimes. I was 15, started working at Sonic. I've literally been working at least one job, if not two or three, since that time. I've never been without a job, ever. Not in high school, not in college. Literally have never been without a job. And I'm turning 42 in May. First of all, vomit. <laughs> Second of all, uh, thank you, Mandy, for reminding me. She was like, you have been praying for a job that gives you flexibility to do all the things you love and make money and be support, like all this stuff, and you're wasting it. She's like, basically like, get your you know what together and be thankful and use it to your advantage. So a little bit after that, I started coming back. I started like I wasn't even watching YouTube, wasn't watching makeup YouTube, wasn't watching vintage YouTube. I had stopped watching YouTube or being interested in anything that I love. I have some sort of dog hair on me and it is so tickly. Until then, we're not going anywhere with this makeup. So I was like, you know what? I need to take advantage of that. So I started kind of forcing myself to watch some YouTube of things that I love to do, like thrifting. If you don't know, I have a resale business. Um, again, always working two, three jobs. 
And I don't know what it was between praying and just kind of forcing myself and getting my butt outside. I also felt bad like, like possibly, I mean, I wasn't, right? I was pulling my weight, but I felt bad that Freddie was going to work every day, you know, doing mostly hard labor um, in the elements. And here I am getting to sit at home, be with our new dog and like fine tune my business in the background while I watch freaking YouTube, you know? Um, and he doesn't care. He's never once like said, why are you on the couch or anything? But it was something inside of me that I had to really work on and decide, hey, like you're still pulling your weight. You're not letting this person like pay for everything. I was still paying my bills. I still am paying my bills. Um, I mean, he, he definitely picked up he has definitely picked up, you know, some grocery shopping, some going out to eat, some things around the house that we've needed that I couldn't necessarily do at the time. Um, so grateful, grateful for him. But he is not going, oh, Sarah doesn't do shit. She's at home doing nothing, taking advantage of me. So it came from me. So I had to really work through that. And um, I got back into thrifting and I am definitely doing a lot of that now. Like almost every day I'm at a store and that's what's making me happy. So I'm doing that. I mean, obviously other than real estate, right? Trying to grow that business, trying to grow my clientele here in Austin, in the Austin area. Um, so I'm back on that kick, but I've still not watched any makeup YouTube. And I don't know why. I don't, I've been trying to really think what is keeping me from doing YouTube? Like I was starting to grow a little bit there at the end of like some of my last videos and you know, I would really talk with people. And if you're watching this, thank you for talking with me and like being a great person on the tube. Um, okay, so one more thing about this foundation or, you know, moist, tinted moisturizer situation. It did not ha like sit well with any sort of powder on top of it. And I need at least a little bit of powder. So we're gonna see how this sits the second half of the day and I'll, I'll get back with you. Anyway, so I just wasn't super feeling the makeup thing and I was trying to figure out why. And I think it's a couple things. One, even though I was starting to grow, like the things that I like to talk about makeup wise, should I turn on my light? Is not, um, not necessarily what everybody is into. Like since I've been off of YouTube for like the last six, seven months, I've noticed I've done the same kind of face every day. Um, and I think that we all go in phases and that's totally fine. But if you have a YouTube channel, you can't just not post stuff and expect to grow and you can't post the same stuff all the time. Like I do the same face every day, <laughs> that face every day. Um, and then have people like want to come back for more because they're like, oh, that's the same crap you did yesterday. So I didn't, I guess I just don't really know where I fit in YouTube. Um, I love to talk about skincare. I love to talk about finding the most amazing, beautiful products that are really affordable. And I think there's an audience for that, but because that's not what I do day in and day out, and that's not what I'm drawn to, like, like I'm not gonna go buy a new vitamin C every day. Like, I'm just not. Like, when, you, when it comes to skincare, you're not gonna really know is that vitamin C good if you're doing it like that. Like that's just not even how you can try out skincare. And I don't, like how many more red lipsticks can I buy? I don't know. Are you guys still interested in even watching me do makeup related stuff, beauty related stuff? Um, I talked to another close friend of mine and she was like, well maybe you can just start adding things that you do love if you still wanna do YouTube, which I, I think I do. Um, and, and I did start adding things in a couple years ago. I did start adding in like some decorating videos and a little bit of thrifting and DIY stuff and like mental health conversations and other weird conversations. And I think it was doing fine. So let me know if you're still okay with all of that because if that's the case, I think it's gonna be more like a third beauty, a third home decoration DIY stuff and maybe a third mental health or just chatting about life situations. So if you think that that's something I could morph my channel into where I'm doing less beauty, would you still watch? Is that something you'd be interested in? Um, I don't really have the pull to make videos right now, but I'm wondering if it's because I just don't know what direction to go um, or if I just don't wanna do YouTube anymore. Like I don't think anyone has missed me 
being off YouTube. Like my beauty page on Instagram hasn't grown right in the last four or five years, which is cool. Um, I don't really get business from Instagram, which weirdly enough, the other day, uh, someone tried to get me to, to book something and I missed it because it was like in the hidden messages and I felt like a total asshole, but um, you know, most of my booking comes from my website and referrals, which even in real estate, that's our goal is to be a referral based business. So because my Instagram wasn't really growing, I was not really advertising and pushing. I swear this, there is a dog hair somewhere. Like I wasn't pushing all that stuff out. So anyway, I just, I don't know what you guys are thinking. Would you still watch if I did more house stuff, more vlogging, more lifestyle, more conversations, or do you want it to only be beauty? Or are you here for me because I'm so fabulous? <laughs> oh, I can't even say it's so silly. Um, also, can I say, I don't know why they took this away. This was so freaking good. It's still amazing, but I'm about halfway through it and it's one of my favorite, bl my favorite blushes. It's the Odin's Eye Alva Fruit Blusher which by the way, I got rid of all my Odin's Eye eyeshadow. It does not stay on my lids and I'm not gonna keep it just because. So I got rid of it, like, to a good home, obviously. Um, but this blush, man, their blushes are amazing. And their lipsticks are okay. But I don't know that I would buy like a mystery box again. The only thing I would wanna get is this blush. I know it looks like a lot right now. It looks like a lot. Um, I'm gonna do the look that I've literally been doing every day. I've been doing like a sun-kissed look. I've actually just switched back over to this blush. I've been doing a more like burnished mauve brown, more like a, like a true sun look. Don't worry, don't worry. I know I look crazy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you also have issues with like sitting around and getting rest? <laughs> even though you're paying, but like, isn't that the life we're, we're striving for to work smart, not hard. And then like, I get to that point and I can't do it. I feel like that's a whole nother conversation about just how our world works, especially here in America. I mean, Europe definitely has a way better balance of life. I would say not talking about anything else because that could get controversial, but just like the way of life, man. So different. And I think I'm trying to embrace that. And if I want to fill my time with YouTube, like, will you even watch? That's, I think that's my thing is like, even though I love doing them, the ones I love doing now might not be ones that people want to watch. So if I did like want to do more of lifestyle stuff and less beauty stuff, like would you still watch? So I'm thinking about actually keeping the same name and just changing like the, like the same name, B5 Blutie, B5 Blutie, B5, B, I've had a lot of coffee today too. B Fly Beauty, or should it be B Fly Beauty and Lifestyle? I don't know, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts below and what, what you think. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara here. I am still using my favorite combo, which is Lash, excuse me, Lash Par <laughs> Lash Paradise. Lash Paradise and CoverGirl Lash Blast. Um, and then we'll just do a little glossy gloss. We'll use the um, Laneige Sleeping Mask. I don't know that that Laneige sleeping mask really does anything for actual chapped lips, but it sure does feel good and looks super pretty on. I got a few for Christmas and I have one big one of the original and it's really nice. But again, I don't know if it really helps with chapped lips. So I do have lots of things to talk about like I have some favorites of like beauty and lifestyle I've been using that I wanted to share. Um, we're, we did a, a makeover on our backyard and we did some landscaping. Spent a lot of money on landscaping. Um, not as much as we could have spent, but a lot of money for us. 
um, and we love it. We're still working on that, so that could be a video coming up soon. If you guys are interested, we could do a video about favorites. Again, beauty and lifestyle. Um, I would like to say that my dog is amazing. So we had a really hard time at first just because he was a puppy and we had to take him with us everywhere because he couldn't be alone more than a few hours. So I had to take him to school and stuff. We're past that now. Thank you, Jesus. And he's doing awesome. Super spoiled. So we actually have to get rid of some of his bad habits we've created in him. And he started sleeping with us in the bed and we can't get rid of that now. It's just too freaking cute. Under the covers and everything. If I think about it, I'll put a picture up here of him, a couple of him. Um, but yeah, it's like life is really good. We're, we've booked some vacations. We're going to go to Big Ben's in, uh, for Thanksgiving with Freddie's family. Um, we're going to go to New Orleans this year just for like a long weekend. We're going to go see my sister and some other family in California. Um, and Freddie's sister is going to come. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so a lot of cool things planned. I'm just praying that I can uh, make some really good sales this year um, so that I'm, number one, able to make some money and pay my bills, but number two, to prove to myself that I can do this business because I will tell you, I do not miss teaching. I really don't, and that makes me kind of sad, and I think just all the bullshit behind everything is what is still sitting with me, which is kind of helping me because it's helping me push to, to really make my new business successful. Cause if I really miss those kids, I probably wouldn't be working as hard and, uh, or missing, you know, if I wasn't missing, if I was missing school, you know, maybe I wouldn't be working as hard and you need to work hard because this business takes two to four years to really get off the ground. And if I'm missing school and going back to it, well, I might have missed a really great opportunity. So I'm looking at this as a positive thing that I don't miss it and that it's the right decision for me to be doing real estate. So if you're in the Austin area and uh, you want to talk about the market, let me know. Um, people are saying that the market is going to bust and all that. It's not, it's not going to happen. Um, especially not in Austin, not where we're at. But, um, yeah, uh, even though I'm new, I will tell you that I am very passionate about helping people. I'm going to get people what they need with what they can afford. My goal is to help people build wealth through, you know, owning a home and almost everybody really can do it, whether you think you can or not. So my brokerage is a very small boutique brokerage in Austin. It won like number one place to work in Austin. It's top 50 growing companies in Austin one of the top producers in Austin. So it, it's a great place to be. I'm super supported. Um, I'm learning a ton. Um, and the biggest thing is the freedom, the freedom, the freedom, the freedom. It's freaking amazing. So, um, let me know down below what you're thinking for the channel. Will you still watch if I do even less beauty stuff or are you only here for beauty? And if you are here for beauty, are you okay with me not always doing something crazy? I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.